Hi friends, today we'll see how, how can we do the data validation for each row in SSIS. Uh, let's say we've got the data which appears like this, EMP data, which contains employee ID, name, hire date, phone number and salary. And some of the validations that we need to do is the salary should be non uh, means one of the problems can be the salary is non-numeric phone number length is not equal to 10 or employee ID name hire date is no so some means these are some of the problems we want to check uh, when we are processing the data so we go to SQL Server integration services and we add a new project the name Date. and here in we add our data flow task and in the data flow task what we need is basically we'll take the source as flat file These are the files we have, which is containing the CSV file, the EMP data, and it contains some of the columns like EMP ID, name, hire date, phone number, and so on. And we can change the data types as well, uh, but we are not doing that. Reason being, basically, if we do the uh, change the data type now itself, so when the data will come, will uh, come here at that time itself, it will throw the error if you do not want. So let this be string data types only. Click on OK and we can see the columns are there. Click on OK and after this what we want is we want to add, we want the validation. So what we can do is we can add the script component here. Here it will ask us how, how the script will be used in the data flow, will be acting as a source means the script component will be acting as source uh, means it will give us the data for the for the transformation or will it be part of destination script is the destination or is it being used for transformation as of now we are using it for transformation click on ok and join it with this right click and add it we can see this we have got all the columns available select the columns that you want as input we want all the columns, EMP ID, name, hire date, phone number, salary. And in the output, what we want is, basically apart from the input columns, do we want any other column? Yes, we want to have another column, which will be problem. That is, we will populate this column if uh, any of the records contains the error. So we add the data type as string. and the length will be 1000 characters click on ok now here in right click and edit again so we got the input columns and output columns what we want is we want to have the validation in place as well so click on edit script And here in uh, it contains basically a kind of C sharp code. It, it is not, not its kind of, it's actually a C sharp code. And this line, this particular part, script main, here in it will be running for each and every code. So it contains some help information. That is how to make use of variables and parameters and connection manager. That is, for example, if you want to fetch some data from there, how to make use of the connect, how to make the connection, and so on. Now another thing is basically it also contains pre-execute. That is, for each record, it will fire pre-execute and post-execute methods. And we have also 
input row that is for each row we will be doing the validation here now here in we can say is let's say we create a variable problem Add up a code here, yes. Then here we say if row dot emp id is now or row dot emp id dot frame is the function dot len equal to zero means that. Giving us error. Or equal to here, we need to say two times equal, equal to zero. Then populate the variable problem equal to must be our numeric value. Say is in EMP ID uh, in dot try pass. What is it that we want is EMP ID number out EMP ID. If it is it, go to false, which means that if any of these conditions, when this particular one checks for the numeric value, and this one checks for the null value, and this one checks for the length, number of characters. And uh, here in we can populate it. Okay, and similarly we can do the validation for others as well. And in the end, what we'll do is we'll say draw dot problem is equal to problem, which will populate that particular column of the row which has the problem. And I have already done some validation which I just paste here. Wherein we take that we, we are checking for if the employee ID is now and name etc. higher date and etc. for all the all the salary and uh, phone numbers length if it is zero. If it is less than 10, if it is not equal to 10, then we are giving the error and we are populating the problem. And here in this one, we, what we are doing is, uh, this is a shorthand, shorthand syntax, wherein we are checking if this problem is equal to blank, it doesn't contain anything, then it should be blank. Otherwise, we'll prepending it by add. That is existing problem. The, uh, the variable which contains the problem plus and and then we are adding another error which is there and we save all this now we got this now we have done the validations and row has been populated what we want is on the basis of uh, the problem or the, the problem column we want to do the conditional split and we add the row sampling component let's say give it a name with data and similarly we add and then we join it 
now here in but here in we have not added anything here as of now so what we'll do is right click add it and here in i check if the problem is not equal to length, which is bad data and the rest will be all the good data click on ok now we can join it the output is let's say we want the good data here click on ok and the rest will be bad data and we add the enable the data views Basically, in the real-time scenario, we'll have some table out here. The table wherein the actual data is required to be go, uh, required. It is required that the, the known faulty data should go to the real table. And other one is the table which contains the errors. So now we execute this one, Control S, and we have validate. Right click and execute the package. Oh, we get the error. Why is it so? Basically, the file is already open. That's the reason probably. So let me close this file and it's in the package now. So we get the data out. Means this is the bad data out here, wherein the problem has been added, and the four rows are the ones which do not contain any problem. So thereby, basically, we can do the validation for the incoming data and move the data to their respective tables. Now note that, now there can be two scenarios. One is the data is coming via flat file source. In that case, you can make use of this way. Other ways, if you are already getting the data, which is there in the respective formats, basically, let's say the source is, let's say, instead of excel or text file you have got a database where the data is there in that case in the script component accordingly you might not be checking for if it is date time or if it is um, the salary is integer and so on because the data is already you're getting from the SQL server, which is already there in the required format. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video.